Right, here we are then, final day of the World Gazprom sponsored Dragon World Championships. I'm surrounded by superstars here, the world champions. I'm delighted. On my right here, Klaus Diedrichs, the helmsman of the boat, um, Andy Beadsworth, Jamie Lee, the crew. Um, first, Andy, uh, you've got Jim over here. How does Jim fit in with this plan? Yeah, Jim Saltonstall. I've been working with Jim Saltonstall since uh, 1979 and won our first uh, gold medal at the World Championships in 1985, World Youth Championships. Uh, again, we won the Lays the Etchell World Championships in 2007 together. Uh, he's been working with Klaus in our Swan 45 program where we silver medaled at two World Championships and here we are at the Dragon World Championships in uh, 2013 with another world gold medal. Perfect, perfect. Now Jim, how have your ferrets performed this week? Been over the moon, Martin. Yeah. They've uh, uh, done very well indeed. We came here with um, obviously um, uh, no aspirations as being world champions. I think that um, when you go to major events around the world, if, if you go to major events around the world expecting to win, then in my opinion as a supporter you know, uh, you're pushed to actually achieve that. Sure. But um, you know, having said that, I think if you set, uh, set your mind to um, maybe being in the top 10 and as a target and yep. then uh, realistically if things go your way and you know uh, with the race committee and the jury and all sure. the other things that you need make, a bit of luck as well you do yeah uh, and at the end of the day you know things went our way right to the very end yeah. of the last race yeah. we were very lucky we're going to come on to that in a minute before yeah. i come to klaus uh jamie jamie lee here north sales as well jamie Tell me, you've been um, using a slightly different mainsail this week, I hear. Uh, yeah, we, um, we developed uh, a new design mainsail earlier in the year, this year. Yep. Uh, with the feedback from Andy and development from Andy, we spoke to Rory Scott and North Sales and we developed this sail the week before the Edinburgh Cup, actually. Uh, we designed it, built it and got it shipped down just before the Edinburgh Cup and we used it in the Edinburgh Cup this year. Right. And we loved it from the offset. And do you feel it's given you a bit of an edge speed-wise? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think okay. we're, we're very happy with our speed this week. Uh, I think we've, had, we've made a progression forward and then we're a little bit quicker than we have been in the past. So. Yeah, certainly, um, whenever I've been near you, you've certainly seen to always have a hedge, an edge on pointing mm. and uh, maintaining a nice lane, yeah. which obviously yeah. is very important in a big fleet. Absolutely, yeah. So Klaus, world champion, how does that sound? How does it feel? Pretty good. I just need to get used to it. Yeah. But uh, no, it's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. And uh, as uh, Andy said earlier in the prize giving, uh, it's not uh, just world champion, it's world champion of the Dragon class, which yeah. is really something special. And yeah. uh, we all yeah. are extremely proud of it. We, I mean, let's just go back to the beginning of the view. You've been down to Qashqai's where you do some winter training. We've done a little bit of match racing down there as well. Now, did that help at all? I know you've got the match race expert, Andy, with you, but did your match racing uh, practice that we did in Qashqai's help at all today? Well, definitely the whole Qashqai's program just keeps it going over the winter, it's fantastic. And match racing is just a, a, a totally different world again, it gives you yeah. a boat on boat, uh, uh, basically, experience. And it came in quite helpful today, yeah. actually, we in the last race. Yeah, we, we must just add that uh, going into the day, uh, Klaus's team were two points behind uh, the leader at that stage was, which was the uh, Russia 76, which is this uh, professional Andre Kilochek, we'll call him, uh, standing in for his owner Dmitry Samakin, and uh, this guy is some sailor, uh, Andy. I mean, he's he's been winning down in Qashqai's with different drivers. He started off with Anatoly Logodov, I think he got a couple of gold cups with him, and now he switched to Dmitry, and he's getting him straight up there. I mean, he's some sailor, huh? I mean, I think, I think Andre, I've, I've been quoted in the past as, uh, I think Andre's probably the best tactician in the Dragon fleet over the last two or three years, certainly. Uh, you know, I, he's a very challenging guy to sail against and he always seems to dig his way out of trouble when things go bad. Um, you know, what a great sailor. Yeah, yeah. Now, third place was Marcus Visa, Ukraine 7. Now, Marcus threw down the challenge, the gauntlet in Duarte because he won the uh, the, the last championship there, the Gold Cup, he, and the, the other Transbunker boat was second. He said, 
we're the ones to beat now, and Klaus, you've beaten him. Um, <laughs> how's Marcus taken it? Have you had a word with him? No, Marcus is a great competitor, he's a great friend, and uh, he actually was quite encouraging. He came up at the beginning of the week to me and said, look guys, you guys look very hot. Uh, and I said, well, thank you for winding me up, but uh, we'll see you at the end of the week. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and uh, no, he, he's a great guy and a great competitor and, and a good friend. So um, I'm going to ask Andy, because uh, Andy has the tactician and strategy. Um, you were two points behind. You, could, you were guaranteed the silver medal. So what was your um, approach to the day uh, on the start? We, just, we decided that <clears throat> probably the best strategy for us was to try and uh, work our way back down the fleet. And if we got uh, Andre down to 18th, didn't matter where we came. Right. Um, and it was, he needed to be ahead of us or in the top, um, top 18. Okay. And figure that it would probably be a good start was to get him behind us. So we picked him up with about seven minutes to go to the start and just to see what happened, see if we'd just rattle his cage, nothing yeah. nothing too serious or aggressive. How did he cope? Yeah, he just parked up and we sat there on port with us behind him, stand still. Right. And then we decided to get to the right of him and he didn't do anything, so we sat there with the sails flapping. And then there was 30 seconds to go and we're behind the whole fleet with our sails flapping. So we started to sheet in and go and he sheeted in and went and we started on port behind the fleet with uh, must have been maybe two to three bow lengths behind on port tail. Right, right. Uh, thinking that the job was pretty much done yeah, by yeah, then. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> then he tacked off after the start and we tacked up on his hip and we went, wow, we're uh, sort of top five here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which was a bit of a surprise. The right certainly paid off the start line, didn't it? There was a committee vote biased and yeah. we seemed to have a little bit less tied over that side, I think, as well. Probably, yeah. Would you agree with that, Jim? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, right and middle was the way to play the field today, yeah. uh, with the tide running to the northeast. Um, and, uh, you know, we looked at it uh, pre-start, and there was definitely less tide uh, on the starboard side of the course. Yeah, yeah. So, Klaus, what happens now? You've just won the most prestigious medal in probably the best one design class in the world. Where do you go from here? First of all, we have a party. Yeah, we need to have a good celebration. <laughs> Any gin, uh, perhaps? Uh, well, we had the gin early in the week, okay. but we'll have more, no yeah. problem. Yeah. Uh, no, we have to celebrate that, there's no question about it. Yeah. Um, we have one more regatta planned this year, and that's the uh, Lake Gata. Okay. We're looking very much forward to, we love the wind, yeah. uh, and Lake Gata is always a good place and it's also a good way to clean up the boat for the winter. Yeah, sure, sure. And then uh, uh, we'll work somewhere around Cannes or the San Remo for to get ready for the Europeans next year in San Remo. Okay, in the winter. And Jim, um, will you do any more dragging coaching in the future? I mean, because you're actually retired now, aren't you? I'm very much retired yeah. now. So yeah. what are you, how are you spending your days? Uh, most of my time nowadays is spent travelling believe yeah. it or not, yeah. we've not though we've done all the miles we've done over the years but it's um, uh, you know it's nice to uh, get around and see places that we've never seen before yeah. uh, but when I get the odd phone call from sailing friends who uh, are doing these occasional regattas yeah. uh, it's nice to uh, come out of retirement and uh, support them the best I can. Yeah great great well I must say back to back British Dragons a premier spot in the world isn't bad lads yeah. Yeah, we're all very proud of you and congratulations once again and uh, enjoy your celebrations tonight thank, thank you, you very much, much. thank you very okay. much thank, thank you, you.